his greetings to the students present here to the anxious nervous and tense contestants who are going to perform and to my beloved well versed and very very educated jury members i let me make an open statement here that it gives me immense pleasure when i think i bunk my classes today the topic which i chose is the indian education system fake versus reality it is a very vast topic that i'll be covering within 10 minutes of time which includes the introduction the education system then and now the stress induced in the parents teachers and the poor children because of wrongly interpreting the education system and finally the originality of the education system present in india after 70 years of independence and 20 years of experiencing it i proudly say that i am a citizen of this country do you know the reason why because my country india holds the first place in having a great number of schools and colleges and yet 30% of my people are still uneducated the reason even though there is 70 is educated only a few get employed here while others go abroad the reason Come on, let me break the suspense. The reason is that we have entirely wrongly interpreted the education system and hasn't utilized the facilities provided by the government. Let me take you to the past. Old is gold is a proverb, not said by me, but my ancestor in those days. Gurukul, a place for learning. In those days, the classrooms were kept in the open so that a child could see what's happening around him, could grasp the knowledge around him. there was a very good relationship between the guru and the shishya these days poor kid is surrounded by four cornered wall and by chance he peeps outside there comes the villain of the scene who says hey you stand out there get out of my class raise your hands now what not poor poor thing yes we have made the system dependent upon the size of the pocket greater the size greater the kid is educated these days the bridge between a kid and his education has become money 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 the edgy kids admission fees is more than enough for me to complete my b degree don't you agree omg how could i forget yes we have made it mark based rather than knowledge based if a kid scores very good mark he has a seat reserved for mbbs and if not b or bsc Once he scores less, he's seen as a person capable of doing nothing, absolutely nothing. These days, the institution do a number of things to increase the mark. Let me arise a simple question here: How many of you have completed the eleventh standard? I say, everyone would have. But be true to your heart: How many of us have completed the syllabus prescribed for eleventh? I say, very few. God has given us five little fingers. Each one has its unique size, shape, and function. Similarly, a kid born has its own talent, creativeness, and a passion of towards the subject. Then why make the length of all fingers the same? Come, let me take you to an industrial visit. Yes, the institution has become industries in which the raw material that is us are sent in and come out as finished products, which lack. creativity talent discipline and the real world skills and by chance if one possess such skill he is considered to be manufacturing defect i guess we all are manufacturing defect according to them okay even before a kid is born there is a great stress that is caused in the parents there is a war between money and the school yeah let me name a few there are number of question that arises in them let me example it firstly in which school should i join him which syllabus is optimal will i be able to pay the money which school should i join which college should i join will he get handsome of money pa 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 these questions give me a headache let me leave the headache with my parents and move on to the next mata pita guru dev this is what we say since we have discussed the stress on the parents let's move to the teachers teachers are the poorest creatures who have to take a kid to the top by conducting a number of examination as we have decided in those days if a kid scores very less mark he or she was blameable but these days the poor teacher is blameable the poor thing doesn't even have the right to punish the student a bad chance if she punishes there come the parent with the rightful question how dare you punish my kid even i haven't punished him since he was born let me rush up fast because the slides coming up next are going to express the feelings of my millions of friends yes the stress induced in the students 
as we all have come across of our school lives. I think everyone would have because we are studying engineering. Every time you hear the ticking of the clock, your heartbeat raises, raises and raises to achieve a goal. Goal? Whose goal? The goal of the parents, the goal of the teachers and the goal of the institutions. But not of that of a kid. Every time I see a kid carry a bag that is heavier than him, makes my heart melt. It's all fate. There are fantastically four reasons why a kid sees his school as a prison. Firstly, that it is always a one-way communication process in which knowledge goes in but doesn't come out. Secondly, it is the number of tests he undergoes. Poor kid. Thirdly, it is the right that is not given to him to contact the higher official di officials directly. And finally, Shang Xing Shung. I hope none of you would have understood that. Yes, because I myself don't know the meaning. This is what happens when a kid is subjected to a subject which he doesn't like. It becomes ununderstandable. Let me tell you the stress that is induced in the children because of their routine life. Every day waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning, studying for the test, conducted in tuition, going to test, writing the test, coming back from tuition, learning for the test conducted in school, going to school, spending hours writing number of examination, coming back. Oh, oh, it gives me, you know, a stress. Let me leave them and give me myself time, time to breathe. Let's move on to next. I came across a very nice quotation which told, Tell me, I forget. Show me, I may remember. Involve me, I will learn. I repeat, tell me, I forget. Show me, I may remember. Involve me, I will learn. Yes, it is the involvement of a kid that is essential. Because what we do these days is, write, learn, write the exam and forget what we learned. Come on friends, let's see the original part of what our government has provided and what we haven't interpreted it properly. Yes, every kid born has a unique love, passion towards a particular subject. Government has identified it. It has provided online courses and even internet connections in schools and colleges so that we find the course which we love, we learn and we write the examination so that we get a certificate of satisfaction that I have completed the subject which I love. Secondly, it is also funding kids for projects. These projects may not be used today but may be used in the later times to come. Then is the field study that is conducted by the government. I know every one of us would have seen, you know, the engineers in the roadside with the camera-like instrument. It is applicable for a fifth standard kid also. He is taken out and shown with things for a subject called as EVS. Then, we all know we all are attracted to colorful pictures. Yes, government has also identified it. It is also providing smart classes for us so that we can see the real-time application of the subjects uh, in form of videos, plays and what not. The way I talk to my friends is entirely different from the way I talk to my teachers. I am the dawn when it comes for my friends and simply nod my head when it comes for the teachers. Yes, in order to reduce the communication gap, government is also organizing some group discussion so that we ourselves can share the knowledge by gaining some. Finally, hats off to the great Indian reservation system which has ensured that each and every get kid gets the right to education so that each and every kid is equally seen. And also, no, do you remember the report cards we had those days which consist of only the subject credentials? But these days, it also consists of a column called activities so that I can boast, yes, I am specialized in this activity, are you? Friends, education is the enter button into one's life through which a kid enters into a unique world of his or her alone. Let's all join hands together in order to eradicate the wrongly interpreted education system and fully utilize the facilities provided so that our country India will become a developed one by 2020. I know cutting a day's class is worth millions of dollars. Don't worry, I won't be boring you much. With this, I put an end to my words. Thank you and have a nice day. Yeah, good morning, Brunda. Good morning, sir. So, uh, thank you. Thank you very much for enlightening the uh, any first session of the day with your uh, uh, very remarkable speech. What made you choose this uh, topic? 
so because what i found is that we learn what is provided in the syllabus not from the other sources which is provided by the government if my friends have a doubt they simply mug it up try to produce it as such and the 11th standard syllabus which is not taken by the you know institutions hurted me so because a child will not even have the basics so that he can proceed further okay so uh, one thing what i felt is uh, uh, this is not in a very uh, this more of a feedback uh, kind of a thing that you need to slow down a little bit oh, and and uh, number one and number two was this is uh, not a stage where you act this is a stage where you present okay correct so that is the feeling that i am getting okay sir. and and so uh, i just wanted to give that uh, feedback to you thank you sir. thank you So, Brinda, <coughs> congratulations for reaching to this level. Thank you, sir. So, uh, you know, it is uh, definitely a privilege, I think, for all of us to look at the best of best talent. I think so. We are all in a very, you know, unique position to learn again and unlearn. Um, <coughs> I definitely love the passion, um, and uh, you know the. The slides and the, the humor you brought in the slides, which was sarcastic, and but also telling us at the same time. But as my uh, friend, actually, you know, um, and fellow jury member here, uh, he also pointed out is that your voice is good, but then you need to modulate it a bit, okay, sir. and then you need to pause in between, yes, right, uh, and utilize utilize the core moments. In a better way, right? You know, it adds more impact that way, yes, right? The the other thing is that uh, your message actually, you know, you gave it up very early. Hi. Everybody got the message quickly, so you can move slightly more faster with the content, and add more. Uh, what do you say? Uh, if you want little more research and data into it, right? Um, some of the things could. Could almost tell what is coming. That that thing, nice. yeah. But nicely done. Thank Thanks. Uh, Brinda, yes, I liked your presentation. Thank you, sir. Uh, the energy, the way you the slides were very good. To be very honest, the other part I would like to know is you got a huge uh, youth audience here. Yes. How would you like, or what is the message that you would like to give to them? Because uh, after all education system is to produce the quality and the potential in each one of us have to be discovered right yes. we can't blame it on the institutions what advice because i didn't see that coming because i was very keen to know how are you going to connect it to the youth very rarely you get a chance like this where you can push your views and also get uh, sell your ideas so if you were asked, what are the two or three ideas that you want this youth sitting behind to take it from here, what would it be? Just one or two. Friends, firstly, don't try to just mug up and proceed it as such in the paper. Understand the core because that is what is going to happen when you leave out of your college. And let me tell you, your practical knowledge is more important than your theoretical knowledge, which doesn't imply that you have to just uh, leave theoretical, but be balanced to once. And uh, please utilize the facilities provided by the government, such as the online courses and the project videos. I think as a uh, presentation, it was good, Brinda. Uh, but as my fellow jury members, you know, they have already pointed out, you know, uh, one main thing is, you know, you should try to keep the kind of uh, suspense in the slides. You know. So that was kind of missing because as uh, Mr. Prahlad already said, you know, we already knew what was coming, right? And the body language, you know, because you are actually doing a presentation, right? So the pre pre uh, body language of a presenter is something very different. Yeah, I got right? that. So try to maintain that, but I think overall it, it was a very good presentation. You are passionate enough, you know, to keep the audience engaged. Thank you. Good show. Thanks.